Hi, welcome. In this uh, video, I'm going to work through problem 18, and in 18 it says the graph of f prime, pay attention to these things, so the derivative of f consists of two line segments and a semicircle. So this line segment and that line segment and that semicircle, got it. Okay, as shown in the figure above, if f of 2 is equal to 1, f of negative 5 equals what? Got it. First of all, I'm given f prime and I'm being asked about the values of f. Um, second of all, I'm given this initial value, uh, but I'm asked for f of negative 5. I know that the only way I can go from f prime to f is if I integrate. And this visual, being very geometrically convenient, might also suggest um, that I do that, or it might be encouraging in that direction. Well, I know that it's kind of awkward to write from 2 to um, negative 5 for my integral, and I don't know if I have an easy interpretation of that, so I'm going to say negative 5 to 2 um, of f prime of x dx and try to manipulate that. Now I know that negative 5 to 2 of f prime of x dx um, is saying the area under the curve um, that's given, the area of the curve of f prime that is, uh, between uh, x equals negative 5 and x equals 2. Got it. I don't really need to draw that boundary. So the two areas that I um, might want to highlight are the area of this triangle here and then of course the area of the semicircle bounded by the x-axis in the semicircle. So those are the two areas that concern my integral. Got it. Now um, in those two areas I've got um, first I could write that this is equal to the area of this plus the area of that but equally importantly by the evaluation theorem it's equal to f of 2 minus f of negative 5. That is because I have integrated, sorry, not negative f, f of x, but rather I have integrated f prime of x dx and to get to get f of x, and of course I would get f of x plus c, but if I'm evaluating, I'm not worried about c, so you get it, and um, so then this is accurate. So that does tell me um, the correct thing. Okay, so the left side in red, though, is uh, representative of the two areas together. So it must mean that f of 2 minus f of negative 5 is equal to the value of this area plus that area. Now, the area in blue is a triangle that has a base of 3, right, from negative 5 to negative 2, and then a height of... 2, so it's 1 half 3 times 2, so 1 half of 6, that is 3, and because it's above the x-axis, I know it's positive. And then the semicircle, since the circle has a radius of 2, has area pi r squared over 2, which is, um, I'm going to say, uh, pi times 2 squared, a radius of 2 over 2, um, since it's a semicircle is why I'm dividing by 2, so I get 4 pi over 2, or 2 pi, got it. So the area of the semicircle is 2 pi, but it is negative 2 pi. And the reason is because that area is below the x-axis. So then together, the blue region and um, that semicircular region that's green have area that combines for 3 and negative 2 pi, which is to say that f of 2 minus f of negative 5 has to equal 3 minus 2 pi. Now, since I want to solve for f of um, negative 5, I'm bothered that there's a negative in front of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply uh, both sides of this equal, equal sign by uh, negative 1. And doing that, I'm going to get f of negative 5 minus f of 2 is equal to 2 pi minus 3. Great. Now that I know from the given information that f of 2 is equal to 1, I could write f of negative 5, sorry about the random interchanging of colors, f of negative 5 minus f of 2 is 1, so minus 1 is equal to 2 pi minus 3, therefore f of negative 5 is equal to 2 pi minus 3 plus 1, or 2 pi minus 2, 
which is answer choice A. All right, I hope you found this um, joyful, if that's the right word. No, I hope you are benefiting from this. Take care.